Happy Seis de Mayo, everybody. Uh, I'm sure some of you celebrated Cinco de Mayo at home yesterday, so you might be uh, hungover, or, or maybe, maybe you're still drunk, maybe both. The point is, now you're trying to homeschool without spilling your margarita. <laughs> Luckily, I can help you out. I am gonna give you a break while I teach your kids some practical knowledge, things that they can actually use out there in the real world once we're allowed to go out in the real world. Um, I tried uh, this a few weeks ago, and based on the response in my living room, I did a really, really great job. <laughs> Thank you, Portia. Thank you. Um, so parents, sit back, relax, while I quench the thirst for learning with my smart juice. <laughs> it's Ellen's Homeschool Corner. Smart juice is funny. That's a funny word. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, that's what it is exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, there's a whole bunch of it. Yeah. And what I do is I, I squeeze it, and the the, the juice comes out uh, to the other to the people. <laughs> you give them a little spray. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get some. All right. I'm gonna spray you with my smart juice, um, or sprinkle you with my smart yeah, juice. Maybe. We're gonna start today with the Ellen Oath. Okay, everybody, repeat after me. You raise your right hand. I, I, Ellen, except don't say Ellen, say your name, unless your name is also Ellen, which in case, it, 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 if it is, cool. <laughs> okay, I, whoever you are, swear, and when I say swear, don't use mean words. I mean promise. Okay, so I, your name, promise to pay attention good. That's it. Okay, great job. Okay. Let's move on to our first subject, vocabulary. I am sure that you're learning all sorts of new words at home, <laughs> lots of new words that your parents are saying that you probably <laughs> hadn't heard them say before. Um, the words I teach are a little bit different. The, the, they're, they're for text messaging, okay? I don't know if you have phones yet, but when you do, these will come in handy. Sometimes in life you wanna text something, but you wanna use less words because your thumbs are tired, because they get really, really tired doing that. I just wanted to see how long I could do it without <laughs> getting tired. Okay. All right. So I thought we had an audio situation. <laughs> no, no, I was, I got excited and was entertained by my All thumbs. Right. That's good. All right. Um, so I want to use less words and I call them, uh, what acronyms instead of saying a bunch of words, I use the first letter of each word. For example, if I laugh out loud at someone's message and I want to text them laughed out loud, I don't want to take the time to write laughed out loud. That's too long. So I write LOL, laughed out loud. Even if I really didn't LOL, I write LOL because it makes Reese Witherspoon, I'm sorry, the person that you're texting with feel good. <laughs> Here's another one, SMH, which means shaking my head. You do it when something is so stupid that there are no words to describe. For instance, if someone tells you to eat bleach, all you do is this. Let's move on <laughs> to a foreign language, okay? A lot of schools are teaching Spanish, French, Mandarin, but they seem to have forgotten the universal language of love. Write this down in your note notebooks, everyone. My mama said, love don't come easy. And she was right. She said, it's a game of give and take. You can't hurry love, no? You just have to wait. Just trust in a good time, no matter how long it takes. All right, everyone with me? So you have to wait a long, 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 long time for real love, or you can go on 90 Day Fiance and get it over real quick. Hashtag baby girl Lisa. <laughs> now, if you're gonna go on 90 Day Fiance, you're gonna need to know geography. We're gonna keep it real simple. I live in the United States which is on the continent of North America, not to be confused with South America, which is another continent in between North and South, Central America, which is not a continent. Australia is another continent, but also a country. Antarctica, another continent, not sure if it's a country. No one really knows because no one lives there except for penguins. That's geography. And finally, <laughs> it's time for arts and crafts. Okay, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a beaded necklace. This Ooh. is fun. All you need is some string and some beads. Now, 
I don't have those things. So what I'm going to do, which is why I came up with a beaded necklace, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use, because I want to show you, because, you know, if maybe your friends are saying, I'm making a beaded necklace, and then you go, Mommy, I want to make a beaded necklace, and your mommy or your daddy or whoever says, we don't have a, a string or beads, and then you're like, but why not? And then they're like, because we don't. And then you get in a big fight. I don't want to. I don't want to see that happen. I'm trying to avoid that. So, all you have to do is you take a shoestring, one such as this that you could almost actually jump rope with. All right. And what you do, anything with a hole in it, like here's a bagel. That's you can, what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you can put anything at all. This is. I'm using a bagel. And you, you put the string and then you do, what other things, let's think of other things with holes that you could put on. You could do a donut. What else has a hole in it? Something to think about. All right, and then what you do, you can put more bagels, you can put a bunch. I'm just gonna do one because I don't wanna be wasteful. And also what's good about this is if you're hungry, you can eat it, okay? Now, oh my God. I have made a necklace. It's a bagel necklace. Does it look good? It really does. And it smells good, too. Ta-da. All right. That's Ellen's homeschool corner. <laughs> right now, I want to say hi to one of my favorite students, and that is Twitch. Hello, Twitch. Hi, Ellen. How are you doing? The, the bagel I'm, I'm, I'm fantastic. I am. Did you like it? Yeah, it was great. Fashionable. Thank you. Functional. Thank you. You know what's what's fashionable is things that not everybody is doing to be to be on the forefront yeah. to be a, a trendsetter not not following a trend right. a pioneer a pioneer right. if you will right. yes that's what I like to do so yeah Twitch let's talk about this is I'm I'm very excited you recently confessed after some prompting from me because you were so modest that you play harp. Right. And I hear that you're going to perform a song that you wrote, and I am so excited that you're finally going to show everybody your talent. Yeah, I got you. Okay. okay. Was it the harp? Yes, he's going to play the song. It's so fun to do the show when I can't see anything. It's like radio. <laughs> oh, it's starting. Didn't see his hands. It, there's a delay, I guess. Holy. It's harp out here for a twitch. Strumming this thing is a cinch. It ain't something that I really want to play. But Ellen got me a harp anyway. Got three kids, so I'm tripping over toys. We don't need any more noise. That's why by the end of the day, I'm selling this thing on eBay. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you. But you know, as um, you, you always bring you bring out the you bring out the best, even things that I didn't know I could do. I appreciate this. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. That that but but I think the lyrics were that you were gonna sell it on eBay, but that's a joke, right? You just did that because it rhymed. Yeah, I was uh, yeah, I did it because it did rhyme, and then um. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just did because of Ryan. Okay. Yep. 